Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a start button for one of your projects. So right now I've got it so that when I press the green flag, Scratch Cat will jump forever and do a front flip. However, I wanna make it so that when I press this start button that is hiding right there, it will actually make Scratch Cat jump rather than the green flag. So to do that, first thing I wanna do is I wanna make it so we can actually see our start button when we press the green flag. So we're going to show it. And then we're going to um, have it do a couple of things. We're going to have it hide when we click on it and broadcast a message. So the event that we start with is when the sprite is clicked. So when I click on the button, we're going to broadcast the message called start and then make the button hide so that way we don't see it. So green flag, we see our button, click on it, and it hides the button. However, Scratch Cat had already started when I press the green flag. So to fix that, I go back into my sprite and rather than making them do the flip forever, I'm going to make Scratch Cat hide at the very beginning when the green flag is clicked like this, boop. And then I want Scratch Cat to show and forever do the flip when I receive the message to start. Okay, so green flag, when I click on this, it's going to broadcast start, hide the button, and when it broadcasts start, Scratch Cat is going to show up and forever do flips, just like that. Now, if I click the green flag again, it just resets back to the beginning. So it will not start the flipping awesome game project, whatever we want to call it, until you click this button. So add buttons like this to uh, your project to make it so that you can start. However, if you'd like, you can also add multiple buttons to give different options or themes. So for example, in the Sprite Catcher game that I made for Boot Up, this has two start buttons. One is the spooky one, and one is the not spooky button. So on these buttons, it's just like before, where it's uh, making it show at the beginning, where I'm also telling it where to position the button. When it's clicked, it's sending a message called start. However, I added this thing that says when I receive start to make it hide. The reason why is because we're starting when we click one of these buttons, but we want both of the buttons to hide when they're clicked. So instead of putting it here, so when this button is uh, clicked, make it hide, we wanna have it hide when it receives the message start. So green flag gives you two buttons. Depending on which one you click, it's going to either set it to not spooky or spooky, and this will make it so that it actually changes the sprites that appear when the sprite starts the challenge. So when I click on spooky, we get spooky sprites that appear, and when I click on not spooky, we get not spooky sprites that appear. But both are start buttons. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.